is Saturday and your best friend who knows you've been dabbling in cake decorating calls you up to ask if you could make her little one's first birthday cake for the party next Saturday. What's a first birthday without the cake, right? Plus, you don't want to disappoint this cute little face. So you say yes, definitely. But you are secretly freaking out inside because you have a full-time job and tons of other deadlines and obligations. Instead of trying to bake, decorate, and deliver this cake all in one day, or worse, pull an all-nighter, I'm gonna show you how to pace yourself over the next several days to create this birthday cake and forego the stress. So let the countdown begin. Today is Sunday. It's been almost 24 hours, so you'll want to get a handle on what cake design you would like to make. This is a great time to scroll through Instagram or Pinterest for cake ideas that match up with your skill level. You'll want to end the day with a pretty good idea of your final cake design. Sketching is a great way to help you visualize the final cake. It's Monday, and after a full day of work, you take the opportunity of already being out and about to shop for everything that you need. This includes all of your ingredients on all of the cake decorating supplies you'll need to complete the cake. Don't forget the cake box. If you couldn't find certain items in the store, you definitely want to get those online orders in this evening. Be sure to request second day shipping to avoid any further delays. It's Tuesday and it's time to finally get baking. Yes, you heard me right. You're going to bake all of your cake layers today. Whether you're baking from scratch or using a box mix, once your cakes are baked and completely cooled, you can wrap them in plastic wrap and then aluminum foil and freeze them. It's Wednesday and you know what that means. It means you're halfway through the week. Yeah, I know what you were thinking. Today, you're gonna spend about an hour making all of your icings, fillings, and syrups. American buttercream, Swiss meringue buttercream, ganache, they can all be made ahead of time and stored until you're ready to use them. Thursday, and you have two days until you deliver the first birthday cake. After allowing your cake layers to thaw and whipping your icing to the proper consistency, you're able to level your layers, apply syrup, assemble and ice your cake. Be sure to place your cake on a base that is two inches in diameter larger than your actual cake. Don't worry about your cake drying out at this point. Applying the icing seals the cake and locks in the moisture. Once you've completed this process, you can place the cake in the refrigerator until the next day. Today is Friday and you finally get to transform this blank slate into a work of art by decorating it. Start by coloring your icing and then prep your decorating bags and pipe away. The party is less than 24 hours away and you've managed to finish the birthday cake the day before. It's Saturday! Party day is finally here. You got a good night's sleep, woke up and had your coffee, and now you can take your time getting ready. All that's left is to box up that gorgeous first birthday cake and drive it to the party. She's gonna love it. Oh, look at the cute little face. Question of the day, if you are not a full-time baker, do you typically bake, decorate, and deliver all on the same day? Or do you pace yourself? Comment below, which one do you prefer? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel for more cake decorating tips and tutorials. A special shout out to all of my wonderful sprinkles, AKA channel members. As always, thanks for watching.